If you experienced rejection, abandonment, trauma, or abuse as a child, you may find it difficult to create a healthy, happy, and holistic life. You are not alone. I am Coach Susie, and I am a survivor of addiction and narcissistic domestic violence abuse. I was raised by a mother who experienced narcissistic personality disorder, and I experienced every type of abuse. I was rejected, abandoned, and traumatized before the age of 10. As I grew older, I attracted the same type of relationships into my life because this was my life. It was all I knew and it was what I was accustomed to until I introduced myself to something different. In 2015, I left a 20 year unhealthy and abusive relationship with a man who struggles with narcissistic personality disorder. And I began a journey into loving myself unconditionally. It took me five years to accomplish living a happy, healthy, and holistic life. And that was primarily due to the lack of financial and educational resources for people like me who were severely traumatized as children and grew up in impoverished neighborhoods. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement was created from the mind of a traumatized child who struggled for years with self-doubt and low self-esteem but I learned to love herself unconditionally beyond past abuse and thrive successfully in life with PTSD, bipolar disorder, and ADHD. I struggled to love myself unconditionally due to the mental and emotional abuse I received as a child. The voices of doubt, fear, and not good enough would constantly haunt me until I began to change my mind. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally Movement is a community of people who desire to learn practical and effective ways to love themselves unconditionally beyond abuse. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally Movement is not about chasing perfection and trying to be perfect. It's about learning to love yourself unconditionally in every area of your life, no matter what that looks like. It's about becoming the healthiest, happiest, and truest version of yourself, no matter what that looks like. If you are ready to learn how to love yourself unconditionally beyond abuse, pre-register today at suzysuttles.com. Everyone has something to teach us. My question to you is, are you ready to learn? You can't walk in your own light because you're too busy watching someone else shine. Hello, beautiful soul family, and welcome to A Mother's Touch Radio. I am your host, Coach Susie, the PTSD Confidence Coach, and welcome to loving yourself unconditionally beyond abuse. You can't walk in your own light because you're too busy watching someone else shine. What do I mean by that? It's so much easier for us to compare our gifts and talents with someone else's and see them living their life while wishing and dreaming that we could be them or have what they have. I truly have a love-hate relationship with social, social media because according to the Pew Research Center, 69% of adults and 81% of teens in the U.S. use social media. This puts a large amount of the population at an increased risk of feeling anxious, depressed, or ill over their social media use. Multiple health studies have shown that social media is a leading cause of depression and anxiety. We need social media, we need social connections to thrive, you know, successfully in life, it's true. But many people have more social connections than face-to-face -face human connection. You know, a lot of people don't even call and talk to you on the phone anymore. You know, I love phone conversations or FaceTime conversations where you can actually see that person face-to-face. -face. And yes, I know, you know, we have Zoom meetings, we have Skype, 
we have um you know chats and, and facebook and chats and instagram but then again you're not taking time off of social media you know when you're in the app chatting with someone you're still on social media and i really and truly believe in taking a break from social media because it has been the best thing for my life you know um uh, I, and I say that I have this love-hate relationship with social media because I love the technical value and the positive impact it allows me to have over other people, you know, and, and inspiring other people and sharing my story and showing people that they too can live a healthy, happy, and holistic life beyond abuse, you know, once they learn to love themselves unconditionally. So I love it for that purpose, but I hate the way it triggers feelings of anxiety and depression. Um, and also not only in me, but other people as well. You know, we have people that are bullies on social media. You know, we have people that spew hate on social media and it triggers people's anxiety and depression. You know, whatever they may, whatever mental barrier they may struggle with, whether that be uh, PTSD, anxiety, depression, bipolar, uh, narcissistic personality disorder, ADHD, uh, dyslexia. It triggers a lot of those emotions, negative emotions. Those are our negative emotions. And as a person who has experienced symptoms of PTSD, bipolar disorder, and ADHD, it sometimes drains my energy. I live a simple, private, and minimal life, but I also desire to help other people to know that they too can live a healthy, happy, and holistic life and thrive despite past trauma and abuse. I use social media to share my story, hoping for someone else to see and know that they are not alone in their struggle with PTSD, bipolar disorder, and ADHD. I've had three Facebook pages since, since 2009, since it first was, you know, came about. And maybe about six IG pages since its conception. Um, and after I finally stopped deleting my pages, all my pictures, you know, losing everything, um, I have, um, that was before, you know, the loving myself, the loving yourself unconditionally movement, you know, because I would, I'm telling you, I would deactivate my page and for like months at a time and just go off of social media because it really was it really did have an effect on my emotions and my feelings, you know, and, you know, when you have PTSD and bipolar and ADHD or whatever it is that you struggle with, you already have those, those feelings, they are going to come up, you know, so it's best, you know, because I love inspiring people through the movement, you know, and um, I, I'm, I will get to use social media less, even though I have the movement because it is a private Facebook community, but I'm only in there live with them uh, bi-monthly. You know, of course, I'll be posting some things in there, some inspiration, motivation, uh, maybe some videos, uh, but, you know, and I'm trying to find a way to automate my uh, posts for my social media platforms, but I still will interact. But um, I coach and teach practical ways for them to love themselves unconditionally beyond abuse in the face in the private Facebook community. I still implement time away from social. And here's how I do that. The first way I do that is that I purchased my daughter a new a new iPhone and I turned her old iPhone into my social media phone. So all of my social media apps are on that phone. And when I am done posting for the day, I turn it off. Number two, I turn off my phone from on that social media phone from Friday evening and I don't turn it back on until Sunday. Sunday at five, typically because I do IG lives on Sundays, but if I have a scheduled guest and it's like 10 or noon, then that's when I'll turn it back on right before the broadcast but I tried my best to take as much time away from social media as I can um, when I can. You know, um, actually since this, this, fine, this first 30 day challenge is up today, officially, I'm thinking about taking at least 21 days off of social um, just to, you know, give myself 
together and um, not even together, but just to work on my projects and just to have time for me, you know, and time for my daughter and just enjoy life until this uh, loving yourself unconditionally beyond abuse movement actually starts. It's officially launching April 12th, 2021. So if you want to pre-register, it is open for pre-registration and all your materials are there for you to get started. Um, and then uh, the, the group is there too. You'll get the group information once you uh, purchase and we could get, you, could, you guys could get started with interacting with each other until I jump in on April 12th. Um, number three, I post four times per day and that's when I scroll. And then after I'm done posting and scrolling, I put it down, turn it off, continue my work. I learn to be social without making it my life and that helps with my anxiety. As a thriver of PTSD, I still have days when I experience sadness, but I learned how to allow those emotions to flow instead of trying to mask them with addictions or trying to avoid them. A Mother's Touch Inc. is a community organization that provides loving support and mentoring for any person who desires to live a healthy, happy, and holistic life with a mental barrier. The organization also assists men and women who uh, financially are leaving a domestic violence relationship and they're having a hard time. The organization and loving yourself unconditionally beyond abuse movement was created based on the desire to be the organization I needed when I found myself struggling financially after leaving an unhealthy and abusive relationship. The organization is a proud collaborator with community organizations whose mission is assisting families and co-parents with becoming the healthiest and greatest version of themselves. If you are interested in donating to our cause and mission, or if you or someone you know is in need of financial assistance, please visit a motherstouchinc.org. All donations are greatly appreciated and accepted. I thank you all so very much for being here and joining me for the podcast today. Um, as you know, this is the time where I get to love on the universe and sing praises. So let me go ahead and end us out with a prayer of love. Dear universe, I love you. I love, do you know, I don't think that you really know how much I love you and appreciate you, how, how deep my gratitude is for your love for me. And that you have shown me continuously who I am and what I deserve. And you continue to push me towards better for myself. I am so thankful for the year of 2015 and learning to say no to one-sided and unhealthy relationships and mustering up the courage, even in fear, to believe that you would take care of my needs, that you were my provider, my protector my shelter, that I lack for nothing when my love is in you because your love has been my greatest currency. And I've told you this before, you have my heart, my soul. I won't sell it for money ever again because to be the healthiest, happiest, and truest version of myself sometimes mean I have to go without. But I would prefer to go without than to shut my voice from abuse because there are so many people who are still dealing with people who suffer, who struggle with narcissistic personality disorder and addictions and not loving themselves. So they pass that trauma and abuse over to other people. And it is time for us to break that cycle and to learn to love ourselves unconditionally so that we can stand up to abuse. Because when we stand up to abuse, abuse stands down. Abuse recognizes what they are doing. 
And hopefully, hopefully, prayerfully, they begin to seek out the proper resources to love themselves unconditionally. When we love ourselves unconditionally, we hold others accountable for their actions toward us. Because we understand that yes, everyone is hurting, especially now. But that is no excuse for you to continue passing down your hurt. You are responsible for your own emotions and your own feelings. I had nothing to do with that. Everything that goes on is everything within inside of ourselves. And it's time for us to stop projecting that onto other people and hurting other people. We were created to love, not hurt others. And it is a privilege and an honor to be able to serve and use my gifts and talents in this capacity because I know that I was born for this, this right here, that every struggle, every relationship, every trial, all the pain, all the shame, all the hurt was created for this movement. And I can't do it alone. I can't do it without you. I don't wanna do it without you because I've been living life with you these past five years. And that's the only way I'm going to do it. It's with you. I won't take you out of anything. And I won't water myself down ever again because it's too bright for someone else's eyes. I love you because it is your strength that I hold on to when people come with their attacks with their judgments with them attempting to hurt I cling to you I cling to my hope my trust and my confidence in you and your love because that's all I got and you have seen me through every step of the way. Your love continues to push me, to continue to push me out. again if it costs me my relationship with you I won't do that I won't ever do that again God
and I want you to go out. Have an awesome, amazing, and beautiful day today. From my heart to yours, as always, namaste.